Barrel brushes, let's talk about that. The barrel brush, this is a hot topic right now. A couple of my coworkers here on YouTube have done a few videos on it, but I wanna dive a little deeper. Back in the day, I got a lot of flack for using the barrel brush, let alone my pink hair dryer. But it's the fact that the barrel brush can do so much and it's got so much diversity with being able to style and comb out your mustache and your beard. Because with the barrel brush, it does it all. It straightens, it fixes dents and divots, and we can actually bring it into our mustache, and it's an all-around great tool to have. But the one thing that I really wanna get into detail is what kind of barrel brush works the best. Now, we have two examples here. Now, this is where I wanna get technical. We're gonna start with this barrel brush. I used this the other day, and I was giving you an example of flexing out my beard, because my beard is small, and we're starting to train it. And if we look closer, what I wanna point out is we have two different types of teeth. We've got the brush, and then we've got a plastic two-edge tooth right here. And to me, this really grips the beard, gives us a great direction where to pull it, but this is where I struggle a little bit and where I wanna help you guys out. As our beard grows longer and as we do more maintenance to it, the smaller handle is gonna cause a little bit of carpal tunnel because of the grip. I'm gonna to have to use this to curl my beard out and then push it down. There's a lot of rotation going on. So this is a great brush to start out with. The problem is, is as our beard grows, there's gonna be a lot more rotation and we're gonna use a lot more strength to be pulling out that beard all over and it's going to start hurting the hand not only that we're not going to get as much surface area with the small diameter that it is and now i want to bring up the premium brush the three things that are going to be the most important when it comes to your barrel are the handle the thickness of the handle we've got holes within the comb itself so as we apply heat it's going to go into our beard and also this is the biggest one for me is the actual length of the bristles itself. I don't want bristles that are going too long. Dan C actually did a video the other day of him styling out his beard. And that's to one his own. I'm not knocking or I'm not uh, taking anything away from it. But for me and going through my beard and how long I've been doing it, I prefer a shorter bristle. But those are the three things I wanna look out for. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna alleviate the turn of the hand, so less carpal tunnel. We're gonna get more surface area. And on top of that, as we use our hair dryer, it's going to apply the beard product and let it sit and our beard's gonna have that nice shine that we all want. So what I wanna do is we're gonna do a right and a left and I wanna give you guys an ease of use kind of an example. So I wanna use my beard bomb from Bolt. We're gonna take out a dime size amount. We'll go ahead and rub it in and then we'll work it in. Now this is where I struggle with the small one, right? I got a little beard product on my hand. I'm gonna hit that smaller handle and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start working it in. And as you can see, see how I'm rotating my hand right now and how much effort that I gotta put into it? And as I slowly pull it down, my fingers are slipping from the product a little bit. So we're kinda having a little double-edged sword right now. Now I'm gonna take the big bad boy and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Half turn. Look at that, just a half turn, and I can twist it with my fingers. And that's all, it's just a half a turn, and come down, half turn, come down. And this all comes down to the circumference of the barrel, right? We have more surface area to work with, it's like having a bigger or smaller tire, right? The bigger the tire, it's gonna take longer for it to rotate all the way around. If we have a smaller tire, it's gonna rotate very quickly. And that's why I like the thicker and bigger barrel brush because it's gonna attack more surface area. When it comes down to it, it's ease of use. I'm not dogging the beard companies, but I do think they should take a page and note out of the styling notebook that it is with, they already make these, why not make it better? Like, you know, it's manly, right? Like manly's big and strong. Make this manly. We're kind of going in the wrong direction. This is more dainty and small. I want something big, bulky, and robust. Bus. And these are great topics to talk about. Let's keep the conversation going. Let's talk about shampoo and conditioner and how it's gonna help train your beard to become that nice long beard that, like I say, we all want. Like always, you guys, like, subscribe, check me out on all that social media. Love you like always, and I will see you on the flip side. See you.